Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be here. Thank you for clapping for a sentence that I just said and continue to say. My name is Pat Finnerty. I'm 41 years old. And uh, this is the Tom Petty Appreciation Band. Are you guys okay with that? You all right with that? We're going to play nothing but Tom Petty tonight. You all right with that? You okay with that? Do you trust us? You shouldn't trust us that much. Who knows? We could be scumbags, but we're not. We're not scumbags. Are you guys scumbags? No, I don't know. There could be a couple, but there might not be anyway. It's also the holiday season, is it not? So how about we bridge the two together and we sing the Tom Petty Christmas song as a way to say hello and all that shit. You ready to have a good time? All right. What?
that's how it goes. That was good. That was fun. Yeah, we're going to do that like 17 more times. And that's it. What do we got? Yeah. We're going to feature Nick over here, everybody, on this tune on the intro. Everyone look at him. guy where are my old spice uh, people I don't know what helped me make that decision I don't know if it was ads or if it was my dad or I'm not sure but that's what I'm buying it's every day right here yep so I'm gonna send this next song out to uh, old spice and uh, I'm talking about deodorant right now I don't know why I thought about that but you got to talk about something in between each song we'll see what happens next this song is called scare easy it's a mud crutch song Real good, it's a good one, it's a fucking good one, it's a good one, it's a good one.
top of my coming up right now. This is a big number. You guys ready for a big number? Everybody see Let It Be or uh, Get Back? Everybody watch Get Back? One of my favorite parts was how they just call songs numbers. The whole entire time we gotta work on your number. George, you have a new number. Did you notice that? It's just all numbers. Big number. Here we go. talk too much about it. Ain't no big deal, ain't no secret still. Yeah, somehow we all get around it.
somebody must. It's a good line. Who knows, maybe you're kidnapped, tied away, taken away, and help a ransom. Oh shit! jump on the drums all night everybody I love him he's one of my favorite drummers in the world and I also have to thank him because my uh, my accord died we were playing a rotten gig at the woodlands and like an acoustic guitar and drums remember that AJ terrible but you know I remember that $150 it was nice I don't know what I spent you know I, I had it though my car died on the way to this rotten gig and then AJ came and picked me up remember AJ we got to the rotten gig and we played that rotten gig, didn't we, AJ? Yep, 150. That's it. Gonzo. Speaking of, I just got a crown put in. You guys do that recently? Yeah, it's going to cost you about 12 hondo. But the good news is that it hurts after, so that's nice. All right, what's next? This is in my top five Tom Petty favorite songs ever. It's just real good. Oh, whoa!
got a heart so
don't say a word about what we're doing. Don't say nothing, little honey. How about our very own Mike Campbell, Mr. Pat Flynn on the guitar? That's a great moment in Pat Flynn history right there, you know, playing that ripping solo. I remember other ones from the Jazz Cafe, like when you told everybody that Dave Matthews died in a bus crash, then they believed you for a little bit. Remember that, Pat? That was back in your drinking days, I think. <laughs> it's a funny joke if you think about it. He's doing fine and he's a millionaire, so it's all right. This is another one of my favorites. I'm gonna de dedicate this song to my lovely girlfriend, Kim, who's here tonight. This one goes out to you, Kim, wherever the hell you are.
just put your card in and you don't have to do your pin. If you go to Target, you don't have to put your pin in. You just put it in and take it out. It's fine. Why does 7-Eleven still have to put the pin in? One machine. But then she looks me in the eye. But says that we need to last forever. Well, you know I can't begin to doubt it. No, but then I got a little girl sitting right by my side. You know I can tell the whole wide world. Shove it. Hey, here comes my girl. Here comes my girl. Yeah, she looks. get so mad at me because I call songs that aren't on the set list all the time. They're terrified. Right, guys? I was thinking about playing Sex Farm by Spinal Tap right now, but I'm not going to do it to him. All right, big hit coming up. This is a big hit. You ready for it? Rock 107, leave that fire. Me and Bill were singing a little run away. Yeah, I was flying. Yeah, running down a dream. Never would come to me, whatever. Working on a mystery. No way to ever leave. Yeah, I'm running down a dream.
Working on a mystery I would love to just do that to you for 45 minutes. And just <laughs> your hands start to cramp <laughs> around the 18 minute mark. I'm like, no, man, you got to keep going. Got to keep ripping. That's an idea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I say this every time we play this. Uh, my favorite Tom Petty record, it's kind of a weird one to be my favorite, but it's Echo. And uh, this is a deep cut off of Echo. So this one's for the heads. This one's for the heads, man.
So the album that's after Echo is The Last DJ. So we're going to play with something off of that, too. And then we'll get back to, like, the greatest hits shit. Don't worry. I think my mom's here, too. Mom, are you here? Hey, Mom, what's going on? There's my mom. Thanks for having me and, you know, giving me all the money and dealing with my bullshit. And, uh, you know... It's been this kind of a, you know. But, Mom, this is one of our favorites, so I'm going to throw this one out to you. Simple. And the lonely DJ 
place digging a ditch. Yeah, he's trying to keep the flames from the temple. girls and all the boys who play that rock and roll they love it like you love Jesus it does the same thing to their soul yeah and if perhaps I lose you say is that uh, our usual bass player that's been in the band for over 10 years, Mark Kysinger, he runs a funeral home. Yes, he does. So if you know somebody, it's, you know, going to drop dead soon, you could you get in touch with him. Now, here's the thing. He's got about 11 bodies right now. Let the bodies hit the floor. 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 So, you know, the bodies are hitting the floor. Mark's very busy right now. He's jammed and slammed, so he couldn't do the gig. Now, he texted yesterday. This filling in for him, uh, this is our good buddy Ian, and uh, he knew about this gig about 11 hours ago, and he's playing the hell out of that thing in the back. So, thanks, Ian. I'm just trying to employ just tall people right now. I'm trying to get these guys out of here. Tallism. Yep. It's happening. It's a hard existence. Try flying. It sucks. You know, play basketball? I finally, like, aged out of people asking if I play basketball now. Like, now I know that I'm like, all right, I'm fucking 40. No one's asking about basketball anymore. And I was like, 20, up to 20, oh, you play basketball? I'm like, no. But now they don't even ask me because they know I'm beat. God damn it. I'm beat. What are we playing? Oh, this is a good one. All right, dance floor. Here we go. Yeah. 
that trail, gonna drink some liquor, gonna wake up in Georgia. gentlemen uh, I'm gonna bring up this is uh, my girlfriend Kim we're in a committed relationship isn't that right Kim she loves when I say committed relationship anyway I, I threw this at her on the ride up I'm like you want to sing stop dragging my heart around she's like you could have told me yesterday but I was like yeah but I told you now Do you want to hold the, the mic? I just didn't want to unravel it all. Yeah, you got to whip it all the way around. Music is a pain in the ass. It really is. All these cables, like, it's just it's a fucking nightmare. It always has been. All this stuff's real heavy, too. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. You got your word? You got the words? Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is professional. <laughs>
Nice job, Kim. How about Kim? All right. Enough of Kim. Let's get back over here. <laughs> What do we want? Don't have that one. I know. I know it, but we don't have it. Is anybody currently high? Nice job, this one's for you. We're gonna jam this one out at all. I know that there hasn't been many jam bands at the River Street Jazz Cafe through the years, so I don't know how you guys are gonna embrace a little bit of a guitar solo, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go on this one.
like to thank Pat and the band for soloing while I went and changed the string in the back. That was nice.
next word She's standing in her underwear Looking out from a hotel room And I thought we'll be coming soon Say, oh, mama, oh, hell yeah She got to put on that party dress Too cold to cry when I woke up alone Hit the last number, walk to the road Last dance of Mary Jane One more time to kill the pain You guys having fun? Cool. Where's Brittany Boo? Where's, there she is. Brittany Boo, happy birthday, Brittany Boo. Been a couple days. How have you been? Tell me everything. Tell me everything. It sure is. song. We're gonna do one off a of full moon favor for y'all.
I don't know why. We've done this song so many fucking times where I was just like, man, I wish we were playing Money Talks instead right now. It doesn't work that way. The world doesn't work that way. And like, I love the apartment song so much. It's just, we've done it so much, but I love it so much. But like, what about Money Talks? Love Money Talks. We don't know Money Talks, so let's just take it from the third verse of, uh, of an apartment song. One, two, three, four. I used to need your love so badly. And I can't live with it. Lately I get that far away feeling. And I know they start to get well. That's all I wanted, that's it. Money talks! Brian Johnson is the most amazing frontman that's ever been. The man doesn't even speak in between the songs. He just goes, bleh. And 80,000 people are like, yay. Yeah. Traipses around in that news cap, no sleep. <laughs> bleh. Are you ready? Um, this is a pretty depressing song we're about to do. What can I do for you? So this is a very depressing song we're about to play, but it also happens to be one of my favorites. Anybody currently depressed? Yeah. All right. Yep, that's about right. Here you go. This is for you guys. Oh. 
So bad, do we know that one? Hey, band, take it easy on this one. I want the crowd to sing it, all right? Ready? My sister got lucky. Go ahead. more chorus together. Ready? Oh, and you're so bad. You're the best thing I've ever had. In a world gone mad, honey. You're so bad. You guys sounded good, but that's it.
gentlemen, we've reached the point of the night where we're playing American Girl. That means that the night's not long for the world, everybody. I'll say this about American Girl. I will never think about Money Talks during this song because it's still one of my favorite songs of all time. It's, I've never skipped this song once on the radio. I get, do it every, it's two and a half minutes, but, and then Mike Campbell from the Heartbreakers, when he was asked what his favorite Heartbreaker song was, he said, America Girl. And he played it 5,000 times. I mean, for 50 years, pretty much, he played this song every single night, and he still said it was his favorite song to play. So that's a good song if there ever is one, right? All right, we're gonna try not to fuck it up. Here we go. I want that dance floor cooking. No, because nobody has Omicron here, right? Nobody, right? Yeah.
fast on this thing. Too tall. The times are tough now. Keep getting tougher. Um. So we're going to do one more, okay? That's it. That's it. It's a wrap. What's it going to be? Which one? Oh, man, you're more depressed than I am. Already played it. No one ever told me to be on my own. Yeah, I keep breaking down, breaking down, you know. Cause no one ever taught me to be on my own. And you know, I just keep breaking down, breaking down, you know. Petty chord. So, uh, the other cool thing about Tom Petty is that even though he was a billionaire, pretty much, and he was a Wilbury, and he was all, they had the coolest life ever, half of his songs are just like, for trying to figure out what the hell we're doing on this goddamn planet. This we'll never know, and Tom Petty didn't know either, and hopefully he's in a better place now. I think he's a tree myself, but I mean, like, who knows? Who knows what the hell he's doing, but goddamn it, have a round of applause for Tom Petty. Love him so much. He didn't give a shit about me. He had no idea who I was. Uh, but I'm so happy that we had him on this planet because he put some of my favorite songs, I think some of the best songs ever written. He helped out write this song, and I think that this could be the, one of the best songs ever written. It's got George Harrison, it's got Roy Orbison, it's got Jeff Lynn, it's got Bob Dylan, and you got Tom Petty, and you got Jim Keltner on drums. So, you know. I don't think it gets much better than that. Handle with care, everybody. I hope you have a good, safe holiday. Thanks for hanging out with us. You know, good shit, right? Cool. Don't drop dead. We'll see you next time.
All right, you want the bullshit like we do one more? You want one more? All right. So, we're gonna bookend this show with the holiday spirit. And uh, not just because it's, it's uh, you know, holiday time, Christmas time or anything like that. It's just, we only get to play this song once a year and it's my, seriously one of my favorite fucking songs. If not, it's definitely my favorite Christmas song. So, we're gonna do it again. It's Christmas all over again and this really is the last song, everybody.
everybody, Killer Band, Pat Flynn on guitar, AJ Jump on the drums, Nikki Hernandez on the keys, and Ian O'Hare on the bass. Thanks, everybody. That's it. That's a wrap. That's a fucking wrap. We're done. We love you. Get the hell out of here. That's it. It's a wrap. It's a fucking wrap. We're out of here.